before we start, I have question. Okay, did that guy convert a bicycle into a motorcycle or was it a motorcycle into a bicycle? <laughs> oh, this might be another possibility. And hear me out. He might have crashed into the bicycle from behind and they merged. Eh, Kimomana. Sama Kimomana! What's wrong with that guy? Why is he riding without a helmet? Why doesn't he have any motorcycle boots on? And why is his bike only burning on one side? Don't worry about it, guys. We are good. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I don't live in the kitchen. There's a lot of stuff that I do. You guys have watched my uh, recipes. Uh, you've watched my travel videos. Uh, it's, it's not the only thing that I do. <laughs> Today we are going to hang out at a, at a Kenyan motorcycle workshop. So that's what this episode is about. Mm, just hang out with me. It's going to be a fun vlog. Um, we're going to ride some bikes. You know, uh, we got several here. Okay, so some of them are disassembled, but <laughs> uh, you guys know how a workshop looks like. Looks like this. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff everywhere, like broken engines. Uh, that's a that's a hero engine, a small engine. Uh, there are tires, you know, some shells of some motorcycles here, but they are all getting revived. So you guys don't worry. I've had I've had many bikes in my life. If you ask me the, the amount of bikes I've had, to say <laughs> to say the truth, I don't even know how many bikes I've had. Um, let me show you some pictures of some of them. Okay. Well, these are just but some of the motorcycles I've owned and customized. This is a Yamaha YZF 750 and beside it is a custom Honda 250 scooter. It's, it's a really cool bike and later on we upgraded that engine of the Yami and it could uh, move to 320. Anyway, this is a Honda Shadow 750. If, you, if, you, if you're a biker, you know this bike. It's really cool and nice and clean. Now this is an RF 400 Suzuki. And then uh, I also own this uh, Yamaha FJ1200. It's the one I went to Malindi with, though I don't own that chick. Oh, she's really cute. <laughs> that was called Alice. Anyway, on the right, that's a custom Honda Steed with the tall monkey bars, the yellow one. And in the center, that's a Shadow. And on the far left, that's a, a Harley Fat Boy. And now let me make you laugh a little. That's my bro on his uh, Vulcan. <laughs> it looks funny. But let's move on. This is a. It's also another custom steed. I love steeds. <laughs> this is a, a Reaper, a Reaper bike. The really long forks. Can see how long those forks are. <laughs> yeah. Now here we have a dragster, Yami. It's a really cool bike. And this is a Vulcan with the machine gun exhaust. It's really cool. And before that, it was actually this. <laughs> yeah. And now this is me with the Nairobi Cruising Kings Charter. I was actually in the first nine, the founding fathers. So uh, I've always been a biker. <laughs> Anyway, back to the Kenyan workshop. Now that I've introduced the video, uh, let me show you some. I don't know what bike that is. Uh, I'm not really sure, but this is a steed. If, you, if you're a true biker, you know what a steed is, right? Uh, <laughs> it's the hardest bike in the world. As in, uh, if you're a real, all real bikers know that, man. It's a bike that you you mistreat. You don't service it, and it still takes you where you need to, to go. It's, it's known as the donkey of bikes, you know. <laughs> Because you, you mistreat it, but it still gets you where you need to go. Uh, here we have a, a Suzuki Katana 750. Though it's disassembled, but um, it'll, it'll be revived in, in, in a few. Uh, that's an SV, if I'm not sure. And uh, here we have a Yamaha. Uh, Yamaha trailing. And uh, let me show you some more. Uh, some more of these motorcycles. This is Eric. <laughs> yeah? One of, one of my max. I've always been a biker. I've always uh, had a fascination. I started riding when I was like uh, 15 or something. But uh, I've been riding for the past like 12 years. I've had many motorcycles. And then this is another one. Uh, you guys you guys know this, this bike, right? This is the Yamaha Super Tenere 750, the old model. Really heavy. I don't know if they made it out of lead or what. <laughs> but I'll take you on a ride with it uh, soon enough after we finished uh, you know putting it together uh, that's a DT trail super trail though we remove the engine do some work on it this is an enduro I think I think that's a 250 I'm not I'm not really sure I think that's a 250 enduro uh, and then here we have a, an SV an SV 1000 
very loud motorcycle, really loud. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be taking you on, a, you know I'm a biker, so I'll be taking you on some of these rides of some of these motorcycles we have. Okay, it's going to be an interesting vlog, so. Nick, you can see you <laughs> so my Mac, my Mac says he's not uh, really uh, dressed for the occasion, so <laughs> can't really show him on, on, on the video. But uh, this is a Suzuki Katana 1000. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the contacts of this uh, of these guys uh, in the in the description if you want to to like make your bike or something if you have a bike to be serviced or to be assembled or to be customized this is where it happens man it's <laughs> it's amazing the things we do with with a few resources here as in i've shown you some some of the, the motorcycles I, i've had it's these guys who did it man okay the artwork and stuff stuff like that i'm the one who does besides being a chef i also do the artwork to the motorcycles but uh you can see where it's as in not too many resources, the toolbox, batteries and such, but the work is 100. Now that I've introduced you to the workshop, <laughs> I've introduced you to the workshop, it's like it's a human being. Anyway, uh, <laughs> now let's fire up this uh, steed. So it's only 400cc, the steed, uh, but it's a really good bike, I, I like it. So. It's a little dirty, but it's very loud. <laughs> uh, I didn't have any time to wash it, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, let me take you on a ride with the, the steel. Okay. change the clutch so yeah I'm doing this thing with one hand so what's wrong with that guy why is he riding without a helmet why doesn't he have any motorcycle boots on and why is his bike only burning on one side <laughs> don't worry about it guys we are good just enjoy the breeze. 
not even shifting gears like this. <laughs> Okay, I told you this guy is a miracle worker. He, he can literally sniff where the, the bike has a problem and just go for it, you know. <laughs> That's Nick. <laughs> no, Mr. Eric. Just weird things happening in the in the garage. Don't worry about it. But uh, the next bike I want to take you on a ride in is this Yamaha. Though it started raining, as you can see, the weather has changed. Yeah, it's kind of uh, windy and the rain is coming in. So I doubt I'll take you on a ride uh, on the on the Yamaha Super Tenere uh, today because we I have to I have to like we have to like uh, you know assemble that. Put it back together, but all the pieces are here, so I'll take like what three hours, and then we'll be good to go. Okay. Okay. You wanted to do so much more, but as you can see, it's raining, so we're just going to watch Eric do his thing here. <laughs> huh? yes, yes, Eric, yes, yes. Hi, guys. Four, four, four. <laughs> You're good. Yes, I'm good. Uh -huh. This is the Yamaha Super Tenere 750. Yeah. Now I'm going to repeat the overhead. Mm. There's an issue, it was overheating. Yeah, this is to insert the new gasket. Yeah, this uh, as piston. Imagine he, he, he opened it up and found that there was water yes. on the piston. So, and the thing was, was really overheating. So, you can have a video from here. This the area. These are the, the, the two pistons that were, these are the gasket which is worn out. Yeah. And the water was just overcoming on the it's new pistons. one. These are new gasket they're going to, re to replace. What I'll do is I'll have to clean the head first. Then from there we'll put the just a little bit, just a small silicone. Yeah. yeah that's my man right there, Eric. <laughs> hmm? Yo, Eric, when is that uh, SV1000? When are you going to revive it, man? Maybe in two, in two days, in, two, in, the, in the coming two, three days. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Our bike is really sweet, I'm telling you, man. The SV. Yes. <laughs> and it's loud as hell. <laughs> hmm? It's a very nice bike. Yeah. Yeah, today, today I wanted to, to take a, a ride on this uh, tenere. I wanted to show you what it's like. But uh, unfortunately, as you can see, uh, the thing was overheating. And uh, can't ride a bike that's overheating, man. Come on. What are we? Rookies? <laughs> <laughs> so he's doing his thing. This will be done in a few. So yes, just yeah. in an hour. Oh. Yeah. Be and by the way, for those motocross fans, there's this. Yeah, right there. The motocross bike, really sweet also. I've had, I've had like uh, like two of them. No, like three of them in my life. So. I'm also a fan of that. Not only choppers and uh, speed bikes, also motocross bikes are really fun. Yeah, lubricate that piston. Yeah, <laughs> that sounded so wrong. <laughs> Gentle, handling it like a baby. <laughs> oh man, that SV. It's really bothering me that it's dead apple. Hmm? But we're going to revive it. Hmm? The sound of that thing. That's a small of power. Hmm? Yeah. That's small power, electric. Yeah. But it'll be sorted in a few, in a few days. Hmm. That will come in two, three days. Hmm. Because already we have, we, we, have, we have realized that we know the issue. Yeah. The issue it has, the issue with the ECU. And uh, we decided to import it from above. So in like, uh, in, 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 in maybe tomorrow. A few days, a few days, yes, basically. Landing, yeah. And but you know, but you know Suzuki's, I don't know what the problem is. Suzuki, it's usually electrical issues. I yes. don't know why. Suzuki, uh, that's why, uh, okay, I'm not hating on Suzuki, but I usually prefer Yamaha and Honda, CBR. <laughs> but Suzuki, Suzuki's, uh, 
I'll commend them on the sound. The sound of their motorcycles is beautiful, man. Hmm? Gets you a boner. <laughs> yeah, that's the SV. And then we're going to be getting into the Enduro. And then the others that are out there. Okay, man, it's really raining. Now, guys, as I said, uh, once a biker, always a biker. And I'm always going to be a biker. <laughs> I love motorcycles. But um, here's the thing. I don't really know which bike this is. Uh, if you know, just drop it down in the comments and uh, tell me because I don't really know. And the, the, the mechanics themselves don't really know. <laughs> but uh, that's my... It, it, it looks cool, man. The guy pimped it out with some skulls. And uh, yeah, I'm a fan of skulls, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, that's why usually you have uh, all these car rings, but uh, I don't know what, which bike this is. But it, it, it looks good, man. Probably uh, these Chinese uh, models. Yeah. It's written there, Jing Chang. And the engine has no name, but yeah. But I, I can't really hate on an engine without any name. You know, Ducati don't really put names on their engines, too. <laughs> But uh, that's how it is anyway. There's some there's some manufacturers which don't put names on their engines. They just provide the engine like that. Honda, CBR, uh, all this uh, Yamaha, Kawasaki. They usually put their names on the engines, but some of them don't. Ooh, this was my old tire. <laughs> yep. Really caring for that gasket, right? <laughs> That, that's the head, sorry. <laughs> but this thing will pick up real good. Only like uh, two, three hours. But I can't really ride it. As you can see, it's raining. And uh, <laughs> showing you a, a clip of me riding it when it's raining and handling the camera with one hand and, you know, shifting without uh, really the clutch. <laughs> when it's raining, it's not really advisable. So. And you, you guys know that I don't have a helmet, so take you on a ride on that on another day. Okay. Yeah. So guys, there you have it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. You've seen where I, I usually make my uh, my motorcycles. Um, these are the mechanics. If if you if you have a bike that's uh, disturbing you, you know, <laughs> it doesn't light up in the mornings and stuff, um, and you live in the vicinity, Nairobi and stuff, uh, <laughs> just holler at me. Write it down in the comments, and then. Uh, We'll see how we'll fix up, you know, sort out your machine. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Let us.